Today I'll be reading from Genesis 1, verses 11 and 12. Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to the various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plant-bearing seeds, according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in according in their kinds. And God saw this, and it was good. We're reading from Amos chapter 4, verses 7 through 9. I also withheld rain from you when the harvest was still three months away. I sent rain on one town, but withheld it from another. One field had rain, another had none, and dried up. People staggered from town to town for water, but did not get enough to drink. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. Many times I struck your gardens and vineyards. I struck them with blight and mildew. Locusts devoured your fig and olive trees. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. The desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice in the blossom. Like the crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon, they will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. The poor and the needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst, but I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will make rivers flow on barren heights and springs within the valleys. I will return... I will turn the desert into pools of water and parched ground into springs. But I will put the desert, the cedar, I will put the desert, the cedar, and the acacia, the myrtle, and the olive. I will set the junipers in the wasteland, the fir and the cypress together so that People may see and know, may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. Okay. I will be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 37 and 38. When you sow, you do not plant the body that will be but just seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else. But God gives it a body as he has determined, and to each kind of seed he gives it its own body. I will be reading from Hebrews chapter 6, 7 through 8. Land that drinks in the rain, often falling on it, and that produces a crop useful to those from whom it is farmed, receive the blessing of God. But land that produces thorns and thistles is worthless and is in danger of being cursed and the end it will be burned. Romans eleven thirty three to 36 Oh, the depths of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out! Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.